have some new to me and some new to the market products to try out today, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be trying out is the W7 It's Glow Prime Radiant Primer. Now you guys, I am not a big radiant primer person, but I did want to give this a go. It is turning, oh, that's very shimmery. Can you guys see how shimmery that is? Ooh, okay. Um, I did want to give this a go because it is turning a little bit cooler here. So I figured what I would do is kind of put this on the outskirts of my face and then use mattifying primer in the center. I don't know if that will work. I definitely don't want to put this in a t-zone because I have oily skin so this is not going to be good for that. It does just kind of give my skin a little bit of a luminosity. I do like that. On my hands that I use to apply it are a little bit shimmery. It does look like it has a very fine like makeup particles in it. I don't know, we'll see if I like it. Maybe in the cooler months it will be good to go. Let me go ahead and put the Joa Mattifying Primer in my T-zone and we can move on. This does have a little bit of a tack to it. It doesn't seem to be drying down, so that's kind of interesting as well. Maybe it'll help hold on my foundation a little bit longer and my foundation today is going to be the Joa Perfect Complexion BB Cream here. This is not the first time that I have tried this. In fact, it's like the fourth or fifth time, but I have been really enjoying it. So I am just going to go ahead and put it on the sponge and apply. I do like the way the foundation applied on top of that primer. It's really pretty. It does just amp up the glow just a little bit more. I kind of like that. Okay. That might be a fall favorite. Definitely not a summer. Not with oily skin. No, sir. I picked this up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. This is the Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. And I got the shade 010. Now, I have tried this one time before off camera and I will say I don't need very much of it so I have to say that is probably the best matching concealer I have to my skin tone I usually buy them lighter for a brightening effect but I'm kind of digging the way it looks being my skin tone under my eyes let me go ahead and powder my face Okay, so I powdered my face with my She Glam powder. I did use my Floret Flower Food Bear as my bronzer, and I did do my brows with my beloved Essence Brow Duo. Now, let me go ahead, and this is actually a new product, and I wanted to put this on while I did my eyeshadow. This is the Essence Golden Days Ahead Lip Oil, and look at all that sparkle. just so my lips can be moisturized. Have a little bit of something, something on them. It's very kind of an oily texture. It's not that pillowy texture that a lot of lip oils have gone to. It definitely feels like a lip oil and I don't see the shimmer. There's a lot of shimmer in this, if you guys can't tell. And I don't exactly see the shimmer on my lips. So that could be a good thing. So that is a new product and I kind of like that. Feels like it would wear off very quickly. It's definitely an oil texture. Like the um, Makeup Revolution, this Fortnite a lip oil that they have has a thicker oily texture. This is definitely like, I would say almost like a cooking oil texture. So for my eyes, I picked up the Rude Cosmetics Chupa Chups Cream Soda Palette. I found this at Marshall's. I believe it was $12. This is a beautiful palette. Definitely neutral. The shimmers in this look gorgeous. I'm really hoping those shimmers are more like the manga forma, formula um, shimmers of Rude Cosmetics and not necessarily their older palettes because I don't really like the shimmer formula in their older palettes. But let's go ahead and dive into this. I am going to start out this look with this Caramel Drizzle shade here. I really like the way that Caramel Drizzle shade blended out over the eyelids and I did go ahead and put that in the crease as well. So let's go ahead and deepen it up with this shade here called Bottle Caps. I'm 
gonna take that first brush with that caramel drizzle shade that I used and kind of blend out the edges on that. Those two shades blended beautifully together. Now let's go in with a shimmer shade. We have Fizz, ooh, Bubbly, Sprinkle, Vanilla Bean. Oh my. Wow, how do you choose from those shades? Those are stunning. I think I'm going to go into this shade right here called Vanilla Bean. Looks like liquid metal on the brush. With that vanilla bean shade right there, I did not get a lot of fallout. That is nice. I think I'm going to cover the um, outer part of my lid with this shade right here, which is called a Bubbly. It's a little bit of a deeper shade, just to kind of go over that dark shade that we have in the outer corner. You guys, those shades, those shimmer shades, I would hazard to say are better than the manga palette. Ah, you like it. Okay. For blush, I'm going to be using the Joa Airlight Soft Powder Blush. This is in the shade Naked Rose. And this formula is not new to me. This is just a new shade and I got this because it is just a pretty neutral blush that can go with pretty much any neutral look that you do. It's more brown than you would think for Naked Rose, but I do love this color and I love the formula. It applies beautifully. So along the lines of the lip oil from Essence, the Golden Days Ahead, they also came out with a highlighter. And this is what that looks like. And again, this is not the first time that I have used this highlighter. It does look pretty dark in the pan, but it does come out a, a nice color even for my skin tone. So I have been enjoying this. I do like this. I do like this line. I saw in the um, European market, they did come out with an eyeshadow palette to go along with this line. They did not come out with that in the US market, so I do not have that, but I do like the Golden Days Ahead line from Essence. I've been enjoying them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyes real quick and we'll be back to put on some lipstick. Okay, so I finished off the eyes with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Small. Got my upper and lower waterline. I used the Lottie London Vampire Diaries Love Sex Super Fake False Lash Mascara. I did mix Extra Cream and Morsel on my lower lash line and used a Sprinkle here as an inner corner highlight. Now let's go ahead and finish off this makeup look with this lipstick I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. This is the MAC Luster Glass Lipstick in the shade Thanks. It's MAC. Super creamy. I like that. All right, let me get you zoomed out and we can discuss. Okay guys, this is the final look using some new to me and new to the market products. I think the standout product is definitely gonna be this Rude Cosmetics Chubba Chups Cream Soda Palette. The shimmers in this, oh my gosh, you guys, so shiny. And as you saw in the close up, no fallout. I didn't spray my brush, I didn't use a glitter glue, there was just no fallout. Holy mackerel, that is a nice, nice, nice feature. Cause most shimmers that perform like this definitely have the fallout. And this, oh, 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 good palette right here. If you see it at Marshalls, you need to pick it up. 
I do love the MAC lipstick that I got. I love this shade. It is a very neutral, very creamy, beautiful shade. I think it complements this neutral look very well. The new Essence Golden Days Ahead collection. I love this highlighter. I've used it a couple times before this. It performs very well. It is definitely a highlighter you can build up. So if you see the more natural glow that I have going on, that's because that's the way I used it. This can definitely be built up. And don't let this deeper color fool you. You can definitely use this even with fair skin tones. I do like this lip oil. It is definitely a lip oil. Unlike the ones that they've been bringing out that's pillowy and cushiony, this is actually a lip oil and it seemed very moisturizing on my lips. I do like that. The shimmer particles in it did not translate onto my lips. Um, so it could be that mine are set at the bottom and that's why it didn't translate onto my lips but I did not have a problem with it. This concealer I'm just I'm, I'm gonna have to let you guys know in a future review. I know it applied very nicely and it is a good color match for me however um, while that is good I do want to try it out and make sure that it does have the wear time. Okay, this primer here, I've got to say, it does not exactly translate onto the skin. When I first put it on, it was very shimmery, and you could see the mica shimmers in it, but once I put on a um, foundation, and this is actually a lighter coverage foundation, and powdered it down, I don't even see any glow or radiance coming through on the outskirts of my face where I put this, so I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to keep you updated on this product here. So far, kind of lackluster. I don't know what I was expecting, because I don't usually use glowy primers but this kind of wasn't what I was expecting even though I wasn't expecting anything but that is all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video if you want a more colorful look go ahead and check out this video right here and I will see you guys in the next one bye